prayers in Nice's Notre Dame Basilica the evening after a gruesome morning. Just outside, people light candles for the three victims. With the terrorist investigation underway, more details have come to light. The assailant was a Tunisian man who arrived in Italy in September before travelling to France. Il était porteur au moment de son interpellation d'un document sous forme d'un papier de la Croix-Rouge italienne au nom d'un ressortissant tunisien né en 1999. Prime Minister Jean Castex said this was an attack on freedom of religion and raised France's security alert to its highest level. Cette attaque aussi lâche que barbare en deuil une nouvelle fois le pays tout entier. La réponse du gouvernement sera ferme, implacable et immédiate. Visiting the scene of the attack earlier on, the president had a defiant message. Si nous sommes attaqués, c'est pour les valeurs qui sont les nôtres. Pour notre goût de la liberté. Pour cette possibilité sur notre sol de croire librement. Emmanuel Macron said the number of soldiers deployed to protect schools and religious sites will be raised from 3,000 to 7,000. The country was already shaken by the beheading of teacher Samuel Patti earlier this month after he showed pupils cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. Many French politicians and citizens have since displayed the images in the name of freedom of expression, prompting an outpouring of anger in parts of the Muslim world.